So na- by the way, it doesn't really technically matter which spouse, because if you're single, two single individuals get married, you're basically one legal entity for tax purposes. But obviously, from a logistic standpoint, there's going to be you're going to have to list one name and then the other. And then the IRS is usually going to basically process the return, you would think, by the first name that was filed on the tax return, or at least the first social security number of the spouse on the tax return. Okay, what about a name change? If you change your name because of marriage, divorce, et cetera, be sure to report the change to the Social Security Administration, SSA, before filing your return. So notice that when we, a lot of times when people think of a government entity, we kind of think as, as though they're all connected in one thing. And they're not really, they all have their own thiefdoms, right? Their own little areas that they're going to be operating in. Especially there's going to be big differences between state and the federal government, although there could be communication between them. So clearly when when you have a name change, you want to make sure you go through the process of changing the legal name. And that's you could do that oftentimes with the Social Security Administration, which also is part of, in essence, the federal government as opposed to the state government. And hopefully they will communicate that properly with the IRS, for example, so that when you try to file your return, it will process, which is something you can often see with these electronic filings. Because if you try to put a social security number that does not line up to the name, it's possible that the electronic filing will kick back the return, will not recognize it, and you'll you'll run into a problem, in which case you can try to figure that out and say, okay, there was a name change, was that processed properly, and then figure out how you're going to deal with that from that point forward. Do you put in the name that you think the software will recognize? Do you try to change it with the Social Security Administration and then update the return and electronically file it later? Should you try to paper file it, which might take longer, but but maybe a processed in a paper filing type of situation if you can't get the electronic file to go through because the Social Security number doesn't seem to be processing. All right. So this prevents delays in processing your return and issuing refunds. So it also safeguards your future social security benefits, which is another key component, which isn't really part of the income tax. But remember that the the social security uh, is the place that if we make our name change, we want to make sure that they are properly tracking the amount of money that we are putting into the social security system. The social security system more and more these days acting like kind of a federal retirement program as opposed to a safety net program. And therefore, the money that we put into Social Security, typically withheld from our W-2 income in the form of payroll taxes, is going, to, is going to affect the benefits we get at retirement if Social Security is still around when we retire, which I'm, I'm not betting on. But if it is, then that we, should get a benef- we should get a larger benefit the more we pay into the Social Security And so we want to make sure that we're getting the proper allocation of the money that we put into the system to our proper social security number and so on so that we can maximize the benefits that we will get at retirement time. So address change. If you plan to move after filing your return, use form 8822 to notify the IRS of your new address. So that becomes quite important, especially if you're having the IRS send you a check. If the IRS is sending you a check, for a refund, then you wanna make sure it goes to the right address. You can alleviate that problem to some degree by having an electronic transfer. Some people are still skeptical of an electronic transfer from the IRS because they have to give their banking information to their tax preparer or at the least put it into the tax software. But if you're comfortable with that, and a lot of people do it these days, electronic transfers are kind of the way it's, it's going these days, then it might not be as urgent right, to make sure that your address is is properly updated because you'll get your check electronically. But still, if there's a problem with any kind of return, the IRS will typically still use snail mail or the good old post office, a good old, you know, it's old, uh, but (laughs) post office to say, I get stuff stolen over here all the time. So I'm not very happy with the whole mail, the whole system right now. I'm not very happy with it. It's more, but in any case, you could still get you could they're still going to go through that kind of long-term slow method so you want to make sure that you're getting the notifications from the irs so that you can properly respond to avoid the sticks that the penalties and interest sticks that they hit you with so p.o box 
Enter your box number only if your post office doesn't deliver mail to your home. 